Urbanization is typically associated with higher levels of health, but rapid urbanization, as we are seeing in Latin America, where 80% of the population now live in cities, is exacerbating health inequalities. It overloads urban health systems, while creating environments characterized by informal settlements with limited domestic services that are unhealthy. The UK Academy of Medical Sciences, the National Academy of Medicine of Brazil, in the Brazilian Academy of Sciences, organized a joint meeting in March 2020 to explore ways of improving urban health and reducing health inequalities. Workshop participants discussed current activities in urban health research, challenges and opportunities, leading to the creation of a high-level framework for coordinating research moving forward. The framework's key goals are to define the scope of urban health research while identifying the key influences and the drivers of health inequalities. It determined to explore interventions to reduce urban health inequalities and to ensure that research was policy-relevant to promote evidence-informed decision-making. Participants also identified a range of enablers of urban health research among them were increased funding at the national, regional and global level and capacity building in interdisciplinary research, policy maker and community engagement. Other enablers included the development of networks to facilitate comparative studies, developing new methodologies to model the impact of interventions and additional data on health risks and their consequences. Political advocacy encouraging urban health inequalities to be considered alongside sustainability and climate change agendas was also viewed as key. The workshop identified a range of potential next steps, starting with the strengthening of urban health research networks across Latin America. It called for the establishment of a regional urban health research agenda with agreed goals and priorities and for existing evidence to be collated. Political support could be mobilized through stronger links with existing city-level political networks, while improved links with national policymakers would help to promote greater involvement in research and commitment to evidence-informed decision-making. Opportunities for collaboration with Europe, including the UK, as well as with Asia and Sub-Saharan Africa, should be explored including comparative studies and exchange of innovations. To find out more, download our report.